serious. Hello everyone, hope you're all well. Today's video is going, you can't, can't see you Chris. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a get ready with me um, for a joker outfit as I'm going to a fancy dress party tonight. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I transform into the female joker then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just starting off with my hair first of all and just using a curling tong to curl my hair. I'm doing quite tight curls and using small chunks of my hair just to make it more of a curly kind of updo as I need to get my hair as short as possible. And then just taking a little bit of hairspray just to really secure the curls into place. And then once that's all set, I'm just going in with a comb and back combing it to give it a bit more volume and make it a bit more messy. I'm doing the same to the some of the curls. Next, I'm going to pin my hair into a faux bob and just take some bobby pins to secure my hair into place as my hair needs to be a bit shorter to look more like the Heath Ledger version of the Joker. I'm doing this quite messily as it doesn't really need to look perfect as the Joker is slightly mental. So for the next stage I'm going to be using some green hairspray and some face paint. I'm using Sin Wax to make the Chelsea smile and various face paints which I'll link below. As you can see Chris has sprayed my hair green for me and I've used some of the Sin Wax, rolled it into a sausage shape and beginning to stick it to my face. This will make the edges of the Chelsea smile and I'm just using my spatula to sort of blend that in and help it to stick to my face. This stuff is really, really sticky and quite difficult to work with, but once it's on, it sticks really well. The best way to use it is to roll it in your hands and it will heat it up, which helps to shape it. I've also done the other side of my face and now I'm beginning to do the white face paint. I'm scrunching up my head into weird expressions so that you get the lines like Heath Ledger had for his Joker character. I'm now going to scrunch my nose to get some nice creases in there. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's quite a messy sort of face paint which looks kind of mocking and just makes you look quite mental. 
I'm just using a sponge to apply that and I'm dabbing it all over my face. Next, I'm going onto the eyes and I'm just roughly applying some black face paint. I'm just roughly applying this to the general eye area before I smudge it out using a cotton bud. Keep adding black to add to the intensity and then you can go on to doing the Chelsea grin. I'm using some really dark reds into the crease of the Chelsea Grin just to add more depth and dimension. And it also makes it look a lot more gruesome. The messier the better with the red as it adds to the effect. I would also recommend powdering the wax just to help it set and stay in place before adding on the face paint or you will get a bit of a sticky mess. I'm also extending the smile up with some more face paint. So that is the finished makeup. And for my outfit, I've gone for a purple blazer, a green bow tie, purple skirt as it is a female costume, and just my converse, which I thought were quite fitting really. Some black tights and a white shirt. And there we have it. So that is how I achieved my female Joker costume. I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I will see you next week. Bye!